Consider to previously discuss material, we can make the next uh, confident conclusion. CPP is a very often in use for DP purposes, and thus we have uh, to determine the main thrust uh, failure modes which may happen with the CPP technology. One of the problems which we have is the damage of the system from the ingested ropes or contact damage. Some problems appear during period of use in case of seal failures, especially on CPP units. Loss of hydraulic fluid may give us a problem in command of the blade. Failure of control valve gives us non-response from the blade. Any other mechanical failure in piston group may give us non-commandable blade. Feedback failure may happen due to all discussed problems and then the blade will not follow to indicator placed at the bridge. That should be taken in account by any DPO. DP operator should continuously monitor the thrusters performance when on DP using appropriate page of DP systems interface. The operator's demands should match the system's feedbacks with the minimum time delays. This is the main idea of monitoring of thrust group. Few definitions here are very important. Write them somewhere. The abnormal thrust force which leads the vessel to loss of position is called a dry-off case. The insufficient thrust force which leads to loss of position named as a drift-off case. If a thruster runs away on full pitch due to any reason, then responsible DPO must stop it immediately. Remember that, gents. At any DP bridge, we have emergency shutdown panel responsible for emergency stop of desired thruster, probably the thruster which failed. And any DP vessel class 2 or 3 must have this panel near the P console. And if thruster runs away on full pitch due to any reason, then we have only 20 seconds or less after failure than to make the emergency action, which will stop the failed thruster. In Kingsbury Post 7, at the thrust main page, we have a, a part of the panel which continuously indicates you the feedback and set point on the thrust group. And if here you have some inconsistent parameter or huge discrepancy between feedback and set point, then if you suspect any thrust which failed based on that uh, system menu, you have to switch the thrust on emergency with the further report to engine room. The right sequence of actions is like that. If you are in outer position, and if the vessel started to deviate from desired heading and position, you may proceed back to joystick. And then you may keep the joystick in zero demand, and then you have to observe at the thrust main panel, do you have any thrusters and loads when joystick gives the zero demand? If there is any thruster which provides you the force, then probably this thruster is the barrier for you, which might be emergency switched off. Remember that. This technique uh, should be in use by any DPO if you have 
suspected for failure's roster.